Hello everyone, welcome back to my last play of Mafia 2. So last time we were arrested and we are now in prison. Um, apparently one of the guys we sold, you know, gas uh, stamps. Apparently one of them just, you know, was kind of a rat or something. I don't know how they call him. Anyway, let's use the bed now and um, see what... Uh, what do I have to do in this prison now? My god, the camera is way too... too this tight. This is gonna be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would've preferred dodging bullets in Europe for this. Well... Only three days later, eh? Okay. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Wow. Who is he, though? Is it just, just me, or this part of the game has, you know, better graphics than the city? Maybe because it's like cloudy or something. The shadows are a bit more. Uh, are a bit darker. Uh, what do I have to do now? Oh, okay. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Get out of my face! Oh, fuck you too. Lucky bastard. Uh, they don't seem too friendly. Yeah, they're black. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point them out, will you? Get out of here before you make me mad. Okay. This one looks a bit different. I need to talk to Leo Galante. Well, but you. Jeez, everyone is so nice this prison. Uh, hey, um, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Yeah, yeah. Old guy plays chess all day. Well, that's something, at least. Okay, you can't run here. This reminds me a lot of uh, Prisoner of War for the PS2. I think it was for PC too. You. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid crazy fuck. <laughs> You know, fellas, my ma was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? <laughs> okay, uh, of course this will happen. Not a very difficult thingy, I hope. Oh my. Jesus. Okay, never mind. It's. Uh... Okay, one more. Oh, damn it. Okay. This one is a bit more challenging than usual, though. Or maybe I'm just, you know, bad at this thing. Oh my. Jeez, he never... Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh god. Well, I would probably die though. Oh, oh gee. <laughs> Close it up. This is like the solitary or something? Looks like it. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. Okay, two days later. That's okay, I guess. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. In any shape to fight. Should be. 
boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. Now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. But from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows? Maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. Okay. Atta boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Uh, telling me to, you know, footwork, Pepe. to dodge, but he's not doing anything. Okay, all to dodge and to counter attack. Okay. Oh, it's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey, we supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? It is. Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here. <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. I try to do that a lot I during, I you know, the fights we had before. Right, and it was not doable, that but that now way. it will be a bit easier. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas. That's enough for today. Nice work. Well, that's training, like 10 seconds of so training. How close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Uh, well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and uh, Luca said he'd bring us into the family for uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh. So what is that, like more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle, well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. Oh, jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Okay, not bad. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, point. Vito? Name's Sal. Hey, nice work in the ring. Okay, cool. Nice yeah, work in the it. ring, buddy. A little more of that, and you'll be ready for a real fight. How's old man Galante know so much about boxing? You never know by looking at him now, but... Okay, so apparently that guy tried to... Um... No shit. Yeah. Heard he used to well, we can leave now. Okay. Uh, apparently that guy tried to, you know. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Galante, crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Okay. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? 
You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there. Show him what you made of. Sure. So yeah, I was going to say something. I was going to say uh, I don't even remember anymore. So now apparently some guy. This is like Pokemon. And we are the Pokemon. <laughs> and oh god. Well, this this works. And I am a Pokemon, and he's another Pokemon, and those two guys are our trainers. And okay, not very difficult. I use I usually don't do the the heavy attack because it it's so slow. So I don't think it's even worth it. Come on. Oh, nice. <laughs> it works. Okay, I guess it's done. Yep. One week later already, eh? So yeah, I'm sorry about those dialogues. I guess this game is a bit of racist because, well, it's the the forties. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Or the 50s, I don't know. It's in 1945, I think. So I think it's the 40s. So apparently we are late for work. What's our job? Oh, hello. Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we going to train some more? Uh, sort of. You'll see. Hmm. I wonder what's going on now. This prison Morning, is full of surprises. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why not training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Okay, more boxing or something. Uh, this is kind of cliche. I don't know. I, I think I saw. The guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his okay, you guys can read the subtitles. Uh, I think I, I saw many movies like that are like this. Like some guys go to the prison and then you know he kind of joins a boxing thingy. I think I saw a movie like this before. Ah, he dodged my counterattack. Ooh, not anymore, dude. This is like the racial fight or something. <laughs> we fought like an Asian and now we are fighting a black guy. What's this? <laughs> I mean, the fights are kind of always the same. I mean, uh, I think those are the like the weak point of this game. At least now we have a counter attack. It makes things way easier. Oh, I can see it. It was behind the. Oh well. Easy. I think we learned a new move then. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You ain't. Ooh. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What is it? What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. I wonder who is this? Oh, it's the. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? Mm. Okay, it's Frankie. I thought it was like the, the lady we helped with the car. How's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. How'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just, just drop it, all right? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. 
She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh, you keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito. No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. I think then the like her husband is like uh like beats her or something. I don't quite remember. But yeah, I think there will be some trouble between like his sister and um her husband or something. Anyway guys, um I will end the video here. So yep, so we join uh like uh a boxing thingy in the prison again uh, there are a lot uh, i think there were like uh, either 80s or 90s movie i saw that was kind of like this too so yeah anyway guys uh have a good morning good or good night and thanks for watching bye bye